Cedar Catholic fans headed to Lincoln Thursday morning for the start of the 2020 Girls State Basketball Tournament. Cedar faced top-seeded Weeping Water and their Division I recruit Grace Cave in the tourney opener. The Indians jumped out to an early lead thanks to a pair of jumpers from the UNO recruit. But Cedar took the lead with just under three minutes left in the first frame and never looked back from there. The Trojans extended the lead to 23-17 at the halftime break thanks to this Bryn Wartman three-pointer. Weeping Water tried to rally, rally back with an aggressive press defense, but the Trojans were able to break the press thanks to plays like this one from Aiden Wartman. We've seen press all year long. That that was that's what we saw pretty much from start to finish. You know, we we just had a we had a tough uh, a very tough schedule throughout those C1, those C2 schools. Some of them are playing now. Um, those are the ones that helped us get here and be able to do what we're doing right now. Aiden Wartman fouled out late in the game, but Brooklyn Keen came in and played well in her place, nailing several free throws and playing stiff defense. Freshman McKenna Naker also played a key role in the contest with her shots from the field and the foul line. You know, some of those girls had been playing multiple minutes throughout the season, maybe not so much right at the very end, but Brooklyn did a great job. She stepped in and did exactly what we needed. The victory culminates a late season turnaround for the Lady Trojans. The team has really started to work together. You know, right now they're just they're doing things that we're asking them to do. They're doing their help side, they're playing defense, uh, but most importantly, they're playing together. You know, we kind of had our down points in January, and our record obviously showed that. And I don't know, we knew that with our tough schedule, we get a lot of good competition and good looks, and then we knew going into D1 that we would really, we thought we could really, I don't know, take it out of them. So, I mean, we just have connected a lot, and practice a lot, practice hard, and went with the, obviously the idea we go four minutes at a time, take it four by four by four, get our stops and everything, and we just trust each other a lot. We know we got to work together and we got to communicate on the floor, and I think that's why we really, we su succeed because we work so well together. With Thursday's win, the Lady Trojans now take on Fremont Bergen in the semifinals. From Lincoln, I'm Rob Dump reporting for the Cedar County News.